Hi, everyone. I hope you're ready for scares. I hope you're ready for spooks. I hope you're ready for Kenji Eno's D. The game, that is. I mean, the stream, the chat already kind of heard this joke earlier. But if you're watching this after the fact now, you're hearing it. We're playing D. So what is D about? Well, I did a Let's Play of this game some years ago. Um, this game recently came out, well, I shouldn't say recently came out on PC. It came out on DOS back in the 90s, but a few days ago it was re-released on GOG by Night Dive, uh, which is a publisher that has been, you know, bringing back a whole lot of old games. Bear Jazz saying I sound like a robot. I'm streaming on a new site, Beam.pro, Beam.professional. No amateurs allowed on this site. Only professional streamers here. They'll kick you out if you're an amateur streamer. So we're playing D. And this is the DOS version of the game. Oh, right. I meant to say why I sound like a robot is because I'm streaming on Beam.Professional. I'm using their Alpha FTL mode, uh, which is a streaming mode that is supposed to have 0 0.2 seconds of latency. Uh, very fast, by far the fastest I've seen in a streaming site. So um, we're trying this, but it does have its own, you know, little glitches here and there. It is an alpha, and one of the gl glitches seems to be that my voice turns into a robot here and there, though if you're watching this after the fact, I don't think that will be the case. If you're watching it live, I might be going into, might be hitting, a, might be becoming a robot. We're going to see how this goes. What you're seeing is D for DOS bought from GOG, and uh, the, ch the chat is over on the side because this is sort of a new chat format I'm trying with. Uh, the reason I'm trying this is so, you know, if we're playing like a game that's in 4x3, I can do this. And hey, there's the chat is now stretched out horizontally. It can be resized on the fly. Oh, and now we're back to 16x9. So this is run D, I guess, is a 4x3 game, but when you run it in DOS, the way DOSBox is set up, it's, uh, it's in 16x9, so this is what we're looking at right here. I'm going to start. Spooky Ghost says that Beam.pro makes their computer get really hot. Well, I hope D gets you really hot. It's a very sensuous game. Leader Killer, how am, how the hell am I this popular in day one? Oh, it's it's more like what is it? Year eight. <laughs> it's like eight years. It's it's not there. It's yeah, day one on this site. Bird Robot, can we get the rock cam? I mean, I didn't think about the rock cam. I'm sure I could find another box for it. By the way, if you don't, if you don't want talking over the cutscenes, I would suggest watching the, the LP, because that one is very quiet. It's very respectful to the source material. Um, this one is probably going to be a lot more casual. Oh, by the way, a different scene than the one that I did in the LP. I did the 3DO version in the LP. This, the DOS version, is the director's cut. So what we're seeing here, this is a different, different from what actually we saw in the 3DO version. It's like a little extended video. See, originally Laura just transported directly into the mind house. Here she's walking around the hospital for a little bit. Until... Now we're in the house. Some people saying that it looked dark. Yes, this is a dark game. And it's made even darker because the DOS version has scan lines. Which is kind of unfortunate, but there's nothing you can do about it because that's just how the video was rendered. Because the original game, it's for 240p. 
And when you're playing on DOS, it's 640 by 480, so I guess their solution was just to interlace it with black scan lines. Doesn't look so great, but that's what we have. Anyway, we're in the Mind House. We can try to leave, of course, because we Laura doesn't want anything. Oh, hold on. Found a glowing cockroach. As you do. Well, gasp. There are four of those cockroaches in the game, and they will have us remember forgotten memories. Laura will flash back to a certain event in her life if we get all four. We could try to leave, but no, it's not happening. She doesn't know what to do. So, let's take a look at her inventory. We have our, our pocket watch. I believe that started at 3 o'clock in the morning. Uh, I believe there's two hours before we get a game over. No saves in this game. It's just one straight stretch to the end. If you can't do it in two hours, you lose. Which really is only, it's really only a problem your first time through the game. The next times you will not have a problem doing that. Road Crew Worker isn't the game that Kenji Ino smuggled the real cutscenes on before the master was pressed. Yes! The uh, scene of um, <clears throat> cannibalism, spoilers, was not in the original version, and uh, Kenji Ino switched them. We have a compact. My streams are too high-quality, Bird Robot. They're too professional, making your computers overheat. Oh, dear. Anyway, we have this compact that can tell us what Laura needs to do next. Since she doesn't know what to do, let's take a look at it. That's right, and Bully will always be looking over all of us, including Laura. So, with the PC version, the, the, the bitmap graphics are unencoded in the folders. You can just replace them with what you want. I did not have time to try to replace it with anything else, so we can just see Bully in our compact. Now let's do. A, we're going to do a speed run. Going to go straight to the end. We're going to just blaze through this. We're going to rush. Hold on. Laura. 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 This is your father. Laura. Go back. You must not cross over to this side. This is another world born of my own mind. Laura, go back. Come further and your world will be closed off from you. Laura, I'm... And I'm sure Laura would love to leave. But we already tried the front doors. Maybe Dad should try unlocking them. Probably, I probably made the same joke in the LP, because it seems obvious. Let's go upstairs. There's other things we could look at. Like, we could look in a soup bowl. and It would turn into blood. We could try going into the room to the right, and get almost killed by a wall of spikes. But we know what to do. We're experts at D. No one knows the D like we do. And we know that we have to go upstairs and go through this door in front of us. Bear Jazz, we do know we have to find the D. Unfortunately... I don't think 
any time travelers are going to pop out of mirrors around here. So, we have to decide... Well, hold on, no, nope, that's not what I wanted to do. We have to decide, yeah, which shells we want to pull out. Now, there's a piece of paper that we could have found somewhere that would have had... Uh, actually, I can pull it out of the shelf number one. If I take it, go downstairs, and put it in the soup, then the numbers four and two appear on the paper. So I'm just going to open those drawers now. That's one. Laura just doing that as fast as she can. That's right. S sequence breaking to save time. I'm not even going to take that piece of paper. Because uh, we don't need it to beat the game. And now I want to go to that fireplace, but I can't just turn to my left and go over there. I have to walk up here. Now turn left. All right, Laura, go. Get over there. You can do it. She did it. Plummy, this is a speed run. This is the speediest run. There's a key down there. Game Strider, this doesn't feel like the game. This feels like a cutscene. Well, when you're in the cinematic world of Kenji Ino, there really isn't any difference. We got a key. If you're wondering, the controls of this game, they're keyboard controls. They're the cursor keys. They're the space bar, which is the action button. And uh, the I key, the letter I, brings up the inventory. I guess we can leave the game through escape. And that's really all there is. Game did not have complex controls or anything. If we went into the door to our right, we would find scary corpses. We're not going to do that to Laura. We're just going to go downstairs very quickly. Road crew worker, is Kenji Ino dead? Yes, unfortunately. Kenji Ino is no longer with us. All right, let's head to that door across the dining room. Come on, Laura! You can do it! <laughs> Come on! Almost there! You're getting there? Almost! Almost! Almost there! We made it. Let's pull out this key. I'm sorry, I should have should have uh, told you to be prepared for the scares. It's very frightening, I know. We can look at him. And then we'll back away. We want to make sure that we we look to the left because that's where we have to go. Bear Jazz, scariest thing here is what the game has in store for your eardrums. Yeah, this game can go from quiet to loud very quickly, unfortunately. But I mean, isn't that just, isn't that what, what being scared is all about? You have to go from quiet to loud. Here's the thing. I'm going to put my hand here. And let's see. Okay, we did not see the number that we need. I th what? The number, hold on. I just happen to have... Uh, an FAQ in front of me, just in case I forgot anything, because this is, you know, a speed run. We, this, you know, we're going, we're going for, the, for the, for the MLG uh, record. Anyway, the number that we need here is seventy-eight, which we would know if we went down another staircase to, to see the number. We want to get seven. Oh no, I missed that. So there's a little momentum on the number. And the second number will move the same number as what whatever the first one is. So I'm going to try to get seven this time. 
Okay, seven. All right. So if I'm trying to get 78, that means it's going to. Well, I'm actually I'm going to want it to to land on one, aren't I? So let's see if we can do that. Let's see if that did it. There we go. Koala Spoons walkthroughs aren't pro. You saw Laura's look on her face? That's what she thinks of that. She saw what you wrote, that using walkthroughs are not professional, and she can't believe that you would say such a thing. Spicy memes, when am I going to re revisit Ride to Hell Retribution? Oh, that's going to have to happen sometime. Even if none of us wanted to. I guess it's going to have to happen. We got a ring. Spade Samuel, you would pay money to see me speedrun D. I mean, they probably have an extent for joke speedruns. They probably don't want to waste their precious time. <laughs> Spooky Ghost, is D an awesome game? Oh, D is the most awesome game. It's Dawson, in fact. So, here's a room that we can go into. We didn't before, there's like a barrel. And I can look over here, and I can try to walk forward. But fortunately, she she stopped just short. I can try to make her do that again. But if I do... She's all no. No, I don't... No, I don't... Th no, I don't think I'm going to do that. So instead we can look at this barrel. And like I can... We can look at it and we can be... Ah, it's a barrel. Maybe we should do something with it. So yeah, we're gonna pull this out. Gamer Strider, what is this game called? It is called D, the game. Available on God. Oh, you like that sound, don't you? Mmm, yes. Bird robot, it's like candy for all of our ears. Now that we've deactivated the wall, we can walk down here. We were actually supposed to do this before. So we could find out what that number is. Gotta turn down the ambient noise so we could hear the sound of those heels. So there it says 78. But if we try to go in the door, we can't actually go in. There's no there's no doorknob. There's something in the middle of that door, though. There's like a hole. But Laura doesn't really know what to do about that hole. Oh, hold on. I pressed that again. We don't need to press that again. Kitsune Zeta, why don't I tell you about digital actresses? I mean, Laura, of course, is the, pro is the first and foremost digital actress of the video gaming world, being in D, Enemy Zero, D2, an entire trilogy starring her as other characters. Can you think of any other digital actress who has done the same?
Lara never saw this coming. Phew. Rogue crew worker, I got a hammer X to not die. You know, that actually would have been an appropriate QTE for that. But no, it was just a normal cutscene. Gotta push that rock. Oh, shucks. I think that was the extent of disc one on the 3DO version. Uh, I don't know if, the, you know, I'm, this whole game is installed to the hard drive, of course. So I don't know if there actually will be any disc cuts at all in this one. There's a painting. I can I can go up and look at it. Blah Moo how large is the game? 3DO version was three CDs, I think. <laughs> and it's painting that painting saying, yeah, remember when a game like this could take up so many discs. Try to go through this door, but I believe it's locked. The way we unlock it is... Well, we saw something in that painting. Oh, actually, I don't want to go this way. I want to turn around. Geist, is this PT before PT? I mean, I... I don't... Maybe. I don't know if I would say PT took inspiration from D, but in... In kind of a roundabout way, maybe all horror games took some inspiration from D, you know? I mean, there really wasn't a whole lot before this. So, I mean, not really, probably the entire horror genre had some kind of inspiration from this. That might be it. Kitsune Zeta, we would first have to know what PT is. That's correct. There is no such thing as PT. That never existed. Deputy Dan, did I play the seventh guest? Yes, uh, I have played that. And I have played the eleventh hour as well. I like those games, I think, more than... Uh, people who were really into horror games at the time did, because they're not not actually scary games or anything. <laughs> Gamer Strider, well, I'll be playing the next game in the Zero Escape series. I mean, that does seem pretty likely. You might even say that this is a test stream for that, but keep that under your hat. There are dead people in this closet. They lost the nonary game. True worker, even with me riffing on them, you couldn't get through 80 plus episodes of visual novels. Yeah. Uh, the stream of Virtue's Last Reward was really something that you needed to be there for live. It's kind I don't know if you would actually want to watch through all that after the fact. Someone asked, which is scarier, D or Illbleed? You know, I have a soft spot for D. Because when I played it, you know, I was young. I played it at a friend's house, but I was sleeping over, and I played it overnight, in the dark, by myself, because my friend went to bed. So, I just played through the whole thing, and it was a good experience at the time. I mean, it's kind of, you know, it's sluggish and, and janky and funny now, but at the time, you know...
it's really the you know the environment that you play it in that matters doesn't it Jim Jim, Ill Bleed seem more like a fever dream. Yeah, Ill Bleed is more frightening in the sense that you can't believe that it that was actually made. That defies description in a way. Your books. We have some books. We can't do anything with these books. Road crew worker, today you need PT levels for immersion, but back then this was enough. Yeah, I mean, like, this was beyond anything else that you were seeing in, in video games at the time. I don't want to turn all the way around. No, that's fine, that's fine. Blamumu, you're only just getting the email notification for Beam now. Yeah, that's a little late, isn't it? Oh, my Beam level has already gone up. Yes, in, on Beam.Professional, you can level up as you're streaming or watching streams. Don't know what any of that leads to, but you can do it. Loyus, uh, the video is supposed to be super dark. It is just a super dark game. There's nothing that can really be done about that. I mean, I could sort of artificially turn up the brightness, but I don't, I don't think that's going to make the game look any better. Got to figure out where I need to stand to go walk towards the desk. That's one of the big challenges of the game. All right, here we go. Now I can walk towards the desk. Research 6, mentioning VLR.txt. Yes, VLR.txt, a fun, uh, fun way to remember those streams. Limo, is there a possibility to use Beam's interactive streaming function? Um, could be, but it's kind of beyond my knowledge at right now. Laura flashing back to memories of the worst dinner ever. But we can't think about ri that right now. We gotta think about this drawer. It's locked. Gotta use this key. What is this? Book? How does book work? Oh, book. <laughs> Laura does not know how book work. Well, we did see a place where book might go. It seemed like there was empty space for book. Don't know why book was in drawer, because book belongs on shelf. Now we have to make our way back over to the bookshelf. It'll be quite a journey, but together, I believe that we can make it. How was Beam working out, Cesarian? It seems to be working out very well. I mean, people seem to be saying that uh, things to be seem things are seem to be going okay. Oh, hold on. Laura. 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 
Laura. Laura. What are you doing? Go back. Now. Laura, you can't stop me. Leave the hospital. Quickly. If you do not, you'll never be able to return to your own world. Do you understand, Laura? Quickly! <sighs> Laura's dad just never lets her get a word in edgewise. Mercus, you missed me. Thanks. I missed you too. And also, Laura's dad locked the door. And also, he's murdered a bunch of people in a hospital? Maybe we should say something about that. I mean, I don't think, I don't think Dad has much authority to tell Laura what to do when he's been busy shooting people. Anyway, here is Book. <laughs> I love the complete lack of surprise on Laura's face. Oh wait, it's re oh, okay. All oh, right, yes. This is actually where uh, there was a disc cut. Like we went from disc two to three here, and when we did that in the 3DO version, it replayed this cutscene. So I guess even though there's no there's no message to replace the disc, um, it's it's just viewing that cutscene again anyway. So that's good. Anyway, yes, people remember this is the wheel, the horrible room of time-wasting. So basically what this is about is we have a wheel, and as we spin the wheel and make the deal, we'll end up on different floors. Cassandra, Cassandra Elf, is this a 3DO emulator? No, this is the DOS version, which is now for sale on GOG. That's what I'm playing right now, just to show the PC version, you know, if anyone wanted to buy it and experience the magic themselves. Since previously it was only on, you know, older consoles and not available digitally. So I can spin this wheel. And yes, I did pull up a, an FAQ for this. Apparently we need to spin this ten times. So... Let's get on that. Cesarean, why do I have a face cam window when I have no face? That is actually not a face cam window. That is a window for notes if I need it. I'll demonstrate. I think that was three? I think. So, I mean, that's just... If there's some reason why I need that here, I don't know. It's here if we need it. That was four. Let's go to five. Time for six. And seven? But in any case, I don't think I'll need the notes, the note window. But I just have it there. What's the bottom window for? That is for odd me, whenever we get it working. I think that was eight. Hope I'm counting this right. Uh, 
if I counted that right, and that was 10, we should be somewhere. My two hours are up there, Jazz. Well, let's just check our stopwatch. Nope, we have an hour and a half to go. Even in 1995, that must have been tedious as hell, Deputy Dan. Oh, even more so, because you wouldn't have known how many spins to do. You would have to do this a whole lot of times to eventually get to the floors that you need to get to, so... 1995, you would be spending a lot of time with the wheel. It's a night. Oh no! And Laura died. No, no matter how many times that knight knocks Laura down he here, she will never die. She's indestructible, apparently. Yes, just brush ourselves off. Uh, let's see. I think there might be something down here. I think it might be random, but there might be a bug. Let's see if there is. Yep, bug right there. Memories incoming. Well, I guess we can't think about that right now. Let's go back up, because there's a knight who is waiting up there. All right, here he is. Time for QTEs. We tripped. Don't worry, he'll he'll wait for us to come back up. He sh he is chivalrous. All right, now it's back on. Right. Suit of armor gonna mess with Lara? I don't think so. She is the space button. I mean, the space bar is an entire bar versus just one sword. We're just gonna, like, you know, carry this with us. Carry this with us? Carry. Yeah, carry this. That's, that's correct. What? There's a little sting right there. The point is that we have this. And we're just going to walk back. I'm just trying to take a look to see how many spins it's going to take. According to this, the initial spot is zero. Laura. Oh, hold on. 
Laura. 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 Laura, soon I will no longer be the man you know. I can feel my control slipping away. Quickly, before that happens, you must leave here. I want you, of all people, to be safe from me. Laura, there's nothing I can... Maybe one of these days, Laura's dad will actually finish a sentence. Alright, so let's see. According to this FAQ, we're on turn 10. Turn 12 is actually 0, which is where we begin, so I'm just gonna spin it two more times and we should be back at where we started. Worst bear, the fact in my heart. Yep, that is where it is. That's where the walkthrough is. It's in my heart. Okay, so we should be on the original location, and from there, it looks like we need five turns. You know, when your game is this short, you need to figure out how to pad it out as much as you possibly can. Otherwise, I mean, people will just go through it too fast. I mean, if, if people bought this game for full price and they just got through it on their first time, then they probably would feel a little, you know, like they didn't get their value. All right. That's, I think, where, I think we are where we need to be. Hope so. All right, here are stairs. Now we're outside. Travernum, did I finish this game my first time? Actually, on my first time, I did reach the time limit right at the end of the game. I was in, like, the last hallway. And so, of course, I played through it again immediately to get back to the end. There's a door in this tower. But, you know, thinking about where that door goes goes to an observatory, and we use the sword to open the door. And in the observatory, we learn how to solve these. I'm just wondering, do I actually need the sword at all? If I already know what the solution to this is. Because I'm, I'm thinking maybe that's another sequence break we could have done. Maybe we didn't need to fight the knight at all. We could just come straight here. And then just press these buttons. Dire Sloth, why would we not want a sword? Exactly! Of course we want a sword! Why wouldn't we want a sword? Clearly, there's absolutely no reason at all that we would want to just leave the sword behind. I mean, now we can keep the sword forever. What better outcome could there be? And now we make our way back to the wheel. It's our favorite room in the game. 
Oh, right, Spades, that's right, we did see the, the cockroach, and we got the memory. Okay, so there actually was a reason to do it. We needed to get, that was the third of four memories, so at least there was something we got. However, I do have bad news. According to this FAQ of my memories, uh, we're on floor five, and where we have to go next is floor three. We can't go backwards, so six... Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. And that takes us back to zero. One. To who? Three. Okay, so we didn't come to this room before. Previously, before we pressed the buttons and drained the pool, uh, we could have tried going in here and get a treasure chest, but spikes would have prevented us. But since we drained the pool and the water came in here, we will now be able to reach the treasure chest. And what fabulous treasure might await us? As we all know, it's not actually a video game until you get a gun. Now that we have a gun, this is truly a video game. We, we, I wasn't sure about that before we found the gun. Laura. 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 Transform. When that happens, my new self will have need of you. This other self is one I cannot control. It is he who has done these horrible things. Laura, leave here. He wants you. Oh, Dad, you're always blaming your other self for all the things that people blame you for. Oh, who ate all the peanut butter out of the jar? It was my shadow self. I can't control what he does. We're on floor three. And I believe we need to get to floor six. So here's spin four. And 
five. And six. Koala Spoons, you're saying my logic is flawed because the I Love My series does not have any guns, and it's the realest games I've played. I mean, it's true, the I Love My series has touched me in a way that no other video games ever had. No other interactive entertainment ever has. In total, how many times did I turn this wheel? Hmm, I wasn't actually counting. What a beautiful stained glass window. Ah, uh, ah, uh, Laura smash. Oh, Laura give up. Well, Laura hit the glass with her hand, and that's all she can think of. She's at a loss now. What can we do? We could try hitting it with a sword. Hmm, <laughs> Laura mad. Laura, actually, Laura indifferent. I do like that they make a failure animation for if you try to use the sword. I th there's, I, there's not, I think that might be the only failure animation in the game, at least I can't really think of anything else, where you can use an item and it doesn't work. But they did make a video for it. And yeah, the objective is actually to shoot the gun. How many bullets does the gun hold? I mean, you can have no limit of mind bullets. Alright, we're in the final area of the game. And I think there might have been another disc change if we were playing a disc-based version. We're going to travel down this hallway and just... See what we find. Laura. 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 Come to me. The one who I am to become needs blood for the change to be complete. You have seen what he will do, and it is your blood that he wants most. Laura, we are cursed. In our veins flows the blood of Dracula. Right, and that was the big plot twist of the game, that uh, we are we are Drax kids. D, D is for Dracula. So obviously this game is canon with, uh, with Castlevania. This is what ha the world of Castlevania in the modern day, of course. This is what happens. And in the original version of D2, this, that, the plot line was going to continue on with that before they scrapped the original version of D2 which is going to be on the M2, the sequel to the 3DO, and then they made a completely new storyline.
and now Laura knows the full truth. That, you know, she's a descendant of Dracula, she's a vampire, and apparently it, there was some point in the past where Laura was saying, you know, being a vampire is kind of awesome, and then ate her mother is what happened. Apparently she repressed that memory as well as the whole bit about being a vampire. Wolf, you're not sure how you could cut off someone's arm using a butter knife? I mean, she was trying really hard. But besides, besides that, there's nothing in this hallway. Unless we stop here and like turn to the wall and look at it. Genuine revelry, you only level up if you turn off ad block. <laughs> I guess that's Beam's way of getting you to turn it off so you can get the the sweet experience points. <laughs> oh, they know you too well. And there's a hidden wall, you know. All right, let's see. Just I just want to just taking a look at the uh, you know that the fact which which by what I mean by that is my memories. Just trying to remember uh, how this works is like there's there's a, a thing that you have to get both these gears to overlap on. Just taking a look at how what what the suggested way is of of doing this. So there are two handles. There are three positions for each handle. So according to this, you should do this first and press the button. All right. Now put both of them in the neutral position. All right. And now pull them both towards you. Nope. Towards you. And now? No. Okay. So I, I misinterpreted something. Um, you know, I am going... Yes. So I misinterpreted something about... Yes, okay, it's said to actually do the uh, the first step two times. So, I didn't do that. So that means we're probably going to be here for a little while. Let's see. Oh, there we go. come up to a portrait of what I assume is our mother. I just like that little cutscene. That's probably my favorite cutscene in the game, as opposed to a lot of the stuff that's pretty goofy. I just like how that one goes and the music that plays. But we've come a long way. Well, I mean, not, not really. It's like an hour. But it's time, it's time to finally confront Dad.
By the way, while this scene is happening, we don't have Oddme, so just let me know in the chat. Do you want the good ending or the bad ending? Let's see if we can get a consensus. flows the blood of Dracula. The time of change comes to all of his blood. It starts with lust for the strange. Then comes the desire for human flesh to make the change complete. Yes, Laura, that time came for you as well. I erased the memory so you have forgotten. When Dracula took control of you, with those very hands, you killed your mother. It is our fate to be accursed. And now you know you must leave. I feel myself changing. that I need, just as you needed your mother's. Come to me! Oh, what a decision. But it sounded like people were saying that they wanted the good ending, so let's shoot Dad.
And so D comes to an end. Yes, maybe as a doctor, as a man of science, uh, Richter just wanted to become Dracula and kill a hospital full of people. As a doctor. And now let's hear some sweet guitar riffs. So that was D. Uh, Kenji Eno's the first game, I believe, that was under his production company of Warp. Is the OST on iTunes? Unfortunately, I doubt it is. I doubt it is. Spooky Ghost. I did have fun. I like I like D, despite how how goofy it is and how slow it is. Uh, it like I said, it does it does have a, a special place in my heart. Genuine Revelry was that actually a tower on the hospital? No, the whole game took place in 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 a mind house. It was a creation of Richter's um, Richter's psyche that was going out of control because he was becoming Dracula. So that that's what was going on. There ne- there never was a house. There never was a castle. It was just all in the hospital, except we were in like in his in his mind, which was in the hospital. The hospital of the mind. Gino was a, was an accomplished musician. You wouldn't really know it when you're playing through this game because there's not much music. It's all just like a low atmospheric hum, but they really go for it in the credits. You know, I just realized, I don't think Warp's logo is on this. It's replaced with a claim. I didn't see Warp's at the be- Warp's logo at the beginning anyway, and we got all four. Right. Well, there's a mention of Warp anyway in the message from Kenji Ino at the end. He thanks us for playing his game, and uh, the the sound of the baby crying was going to be referenced in D2, in which Laura was going to have a baby. The game was going to begin with Laura being murdered on an airplane by ghosts who would time travel her unborn baby back in time. And, like, the unborn baby, you would play him as an adult. It's a direct sequel to this game. So it, it continued on the whole thing about being descendants of Dracula. It never came out. It was supposed to be for the M2, the sequel to the 3DO, and that platform never came out. There was no way to play the original D2, which is unfortunate. I would like to see... I would like to actually have played that. Um, But they scrapped it and then made the actual D2 for the Dreamcast, the one that did come out. So, well, you know, we'll never actually see that forgotten chapter of the Lara series, unfortunately. Well, I hope everyone had a good time. Good, good time here tonight. This, uh, like I said, I just wanted to play through the PC version of D. So you know that you can, you can partake in the adventure yourself. You can partake in the horror. As you can now buy the game at GOG.com. And I hope you enjoyed this test stream. Um, let me know, what, what did you think of Beam tonight? Like, I've been streaming in their FTL low latency mode. So let me know, did the low latency work? Was there any problems watching the stream? Um, Any video or audio problems? Because I can't tell from where I am right now. Bear Jazz, it is super high resource. Okay, so maybe if you have a lower... If you're looking on on a laptop or something, maybe you might have trouble with it. People are saying that they were getting the low latency. Oh, Spooky Ghost is saying that the robo voice uh, went away. So that's good. After a while, I guess the robot voice stopped. Um, it seems, no mods, no masters, saying that it runs pretty horrible. 
Um, most people seem to be saying that they're doing okay with it, though. Flake Burst, the latency got worse over time, still better than other streams. Blah, Mumu, I wasn't doing high action stuff. That is correct. Not a whole lot of movement in D. Kitsune Zeta, noticeable CPU usage. Chaos Proxy getting a choppy frame rate. Road Crew Worker using one of the eight cores of the laptop, no worse than Twitch. Bear Jazz, PC, lap, uh, PC what, laptop was struggling, had to switch to PC. Nikazio saying it's really fast, which is rare for their laptop, but the chat is buggy. Green Goat Egal saying that the chat was lagging. Um, Gyrgyrg saying the chat is so bad, oh my good. So, d mixed opinions, it seems, about Beam. Um, it seems like the low latency works, but some people having trouble with the with maybe the, re the resource use of the site. So maybe there are good and bad points to it. I've always liked to look for the streaming site that had the lowest latency, and it does seem impossible for there to be lower latency than this. So I would like to keep trying this out and see how it goes. Um, just because, you know, it's pretty much instant. Um, Cesarian asking me about WWE games. I was thinking about trying that. Maybe trying to go with, uh, re with WWE games that have nothing to do with wrestling. I was thinking that was an idea. Bear Jazz going to ask, asking about IRC. Um, I'm think I'm, I would like to use the beam chat just because it's more elegant to use the chat that's on the actual site. I mean, if we have to use the IRC, then we can use that. But, uh, I would like to try to see if the beam chat itself could work for this. Road Crew Worker, what's been happening on Xplig? Actually, only a few Xplig's that have come out. Enough to actually do a new video. I haven't gotten to it yet, but there's only like six games that have come out since my last video. Bear Jazz, I should add mods. Yeah, mods, are, mods would be forthcoming, assuming that I would be continuing to use this site and this chat. Uh, that is definitely something that would be, would be coming. Gateway, you'll see me again for Zero Time Dilemma, question marks? Yes, Zero Time Dilemma is likely. I hope I can figure out something to do with Omni by that time, though. Have a little under a month, I guess. What was that swoop noise? I did not hear a noise myself, but it does seem like the chat can have some uh, audio prompts. Beam chat. Chat works way better on Chrome Reacher 6. And some people getting uh, quality options on the Beam stream, but not everyone. That seems odd. A nice thing about Beam is that it does op uh, offer video options, video render options, which I d was not getting on Hitbox. Did I do all the Doom Rune trials, Spooky Ghost? No, I actually did skip over some just because I wanted to continue on in the game and didn't didn't really care that much if I got all the upgrades. Worst Bear, were Saturday Stram be back? Uh, so as far as the schedule of the stream, uh, the reason that I was doing this stream on a Monday night and doing like a little announcement beforehand was to test out the idea of doing a stream, like a shorter stream, but on any day of the week. So I don't know if I would be doing like a long, like a three-hour stream on Saturday or like a shorter stream, but it could be any day. I'm not really sure how that's going to go. So it might be a more dynamic, moving schedule instead of hitting like one day a week. That just doing that. Research six always at eight o'clock. I mean, eight o'clock is usually the best time, regardless of whether it's weekday or weekend. So that probably won't change. Road crew worker, no free weekends. I mean, it's more like. I'm exhausted on the weekends, like unbelievably tired on the weekends. So it's gotten harder to do the streams on Saturdays. Um, so I, I thought t doing the stream tonight was pretty good. Uh, I feel all right, and I thought this went this went okay. Um, so yeah, that that might be how it goes. Maybe the way this will go is instead of having a regular weekly stream, maybe like I'll have an idea of let's stream for an hour or two on blank night. And then maybe I'll post up a YouTube video to say, stream happening, date and time, this is what we're streaming. Maybe it'll be, here's a stream of, of Zero Time Dilemma. Or, hey, here it comes a stream full of DOS games. Let's do that. You know, maybe, like, probably I'm thinking of something like that. 
Road Crew Worker saying Beam has VODs. Uh, I will be uploading streams to YouTube. Um, I am uploading, I'm sorry, I am recording it locally now. So, yeah, this will go up on YouTube. The original test with Shadow of the Beast did not, because that, that really wasn't intended to go up on YouTube. That was just a pure test of seeing, does this site actually work? Um, but following streams will be recorded on YouTube. Kitsune Zeta, how do I do local recordings in Tachyon? I don't. Right now, I have Tachyon and Vanilla OBS Studio running at the same time. OBS is the one that's actually, like, putting the scene together. And then I'm using OBS's projector mode on my third monitor. And then I'm using Tachyon's monitor capture on the third monitor which is how I'm streaming with Tachyon, but I'm recording locally with OBS Studio. So that's how that's working. Um, it's a kind of a complicated way of doing it, but it's my stream setup has always been kind of ridiculously complicated, so it's not really new to me. Um, so we'll see how it works. Um... And, yeah, it, it seems like some people had a good time with Beam. Other people it didn't work so well with, but we'll see how it goes. Maybe at some point I'll try streaming on Beam using the normal stream instead of FTL and see how that goes. Uh, just see what the latency is like on that. And uh, as far as, like I said, as far as what the stream schedule is going to be, I don't know. It might be something irregular now. Instead of just having, like, one three-hour stream, it might be, like, here's an hour on one day, here's an hour on another day. Might be something like that. Not sure yet. Still thinking about it. Um, so probably I think I'm going to be recording an Explic video next. Then probably I'll record my next uh, Witness and Night Cry stuff. Because I know you love the night cry. We all love the night cry. What do you get for leveling, Plummy? Probably nothing. I think Bear Jazz said it before. Your numbers get higher. The numbers go up. And we want our numbers to go up. It's so satisfying, Limo, to get the bigger numbers. We need the numbers. So, I mean, I guess... I guess that's probably going to be it for tonight. Um, so again, I hope that everyone had a good time tonight. It seemed like, on my end, it seemed like things were going okay. It seemed like the stream was was going okay, the chat was coming in alright. So it seemed like what I was doing right now was doing okay. Um, so, I'll see you another time, not sure when. Probably it'll be on Beam again. We'll try out, we'll try out another Beam stream. And, uh... We'll see what we play, you know, just play it by ear, figure it out. I hope I can get Osmi working on this. Um, we'll, we'll see about that. Uh, Bird Robot saying this is way better than Hitbox. Well, I'm glad it was working better for you. Um, ladies on the game, what's the Twitter? My Twitter is super great friend. There's no, there's no D at the end because Dracula took it. Though, strangely, I could not post on Twitter today. I tried to post about the stream before the stream started, and it said something like, you can't send a message to that user. I'm like, no, I'm not sending a message to a user. I'm just tweeting. And it said, no, don't do that. Oh, okay, I won't, I won't do it then. <laughs> I'll have to see what's, what's that problem. Um, all right, so have a good night, everyone. And I'll be posting this up on YouTube, and I hope you can get some sleep after the scary game we played tonight. Have a good night.